Alrighty, well, went out today and got some material. I got all the stuff to build the shed. This will cover everything to get it to the dried in point. My slab is now ready. So today I'm gonna to start framing. Let's get started. Okay, got these walls all up, these other two. Battery died on me again, but it wouldn't really matter. It was getting dark and I probably would have only had about 30 more minutes worth of uh, daylight. May not have been able to see it anyway, even though these cameras do a real good job of showing stuff, even though it's a little dark. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I got that wall up right there and I did this one. I didn't put the header on, I just wanted to get it that wall up to help hold these other walls. But I'm gonna do that today. Put the header up there, finish framing out that wall, and then put the uh can't think of the name. Uh, having a brain fart. <laughs> the anchor bolts in. Well the wedges. Drill a hole, panel it down in there, and then tighten it up. Put them all the way around. Uh put my top plates on. And then I'll be ready to start putting sheathing on. Okay. A couple days later. But I got that wall built right there, the top plates, anchor bolts all inside, and I started one row of pressure treated plywood that's 12, 12 and a half inches. Uh, I like to do that so that helps prevent water getting up in there, and you know, since it's so close to the ground, kind of protects that first layer right there. And then I just go a little OSB the rest of the way. All right, so I got my all my halves cut, so. I, I'm ready to start installing this.
Okay, here's some more of the progress. Sorry, I didn't do some more video on of it, especially when I was doing these rakes right here. Uh, I call them rakes, but anyway, the little board sticking out. I've the best way I could have hit the camera was, you know, where I set it up there. It'd been like my back would have been facing the camera. So all you've been able to do is watch my back. <laughs> you get it? Watch my back. But <laughs> anyway, uh. So I didn't record that and then, you know, I got busy doing these side, basically fascia boards. And uh, anyway, I didn't set it up then, so I apologize for that. But anyway, it's coming along pretty good, making good progress. I'm just waiting for my brown-in-law to show up. And we're going to put these front fascia boards on. I just need someone to help me, you know, I can, you know, get a good measurement. And of course, when I get the, once I get the board cut, then I got to have someone help me hold it. So anyway, making good progress. Tomorrow I should be able to start putting the uh, OSB up there on the on the roof. So that'll be good. Get this baby dried in. At least as far as, you know, so you can put stuff in there and it won't get wet. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, we got the uh, <clears throat> boards up here on the gable ends on both sides. And now this thing is ready to... <clears throat> have the OSB installed up there. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Hope they'll get it all on there. All the all of it on the roof and on the gables on both ends and the fell and the rest of the uh house wrap. And get it dried in today. So that's my go. But it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like it. All right, just a good little walk around of it. <coughs> Excuse me. All righty, let's get started.
<laughs> Alrighty, finally got this shed built. This is a 12 by 16 with the 712 pitch roof on it. And I actually got, this is the point I wanted to get to. I took two weeks off from work and uh, that way I could have time to work on this thing. But this is where I wanted to get to so I could have the bulk of the shed built. But I went with the 712 pitch roof, you know, so that in here I could have a, I'm gonna put these little ceiling ties across there or a joist, whatever you wanna call it. But anyway, uh, I was gonna go with the two by four, but now I'm gonna go with the two by six, just to give it more strength. And I'm gonna put some four by eight pieces of plywood up there, just three of them. So there'll be one area that's open that you can get up in there and get to stuff. But uh, anyway, just trying to maximize the distance from there to there, so the, between the collar tie and the, and the ceiling joist. And, uh, but anyway, so yeah, happy to be at this point. I've been busy for the last two weeks. <laughs> and the day is the last day of the year, so I'm glad to, you know, actually have something that I can work off of now. I mean, this thing, it's just all that's left now is finish work of course and i already have the siding i got a bunch of siding left over from when i did my house so i gotta buy the metal to put up there i'm gonna go with the metal roof and of course do vinyl uh soffit and uh aluminum fascia so but uh yeah so yeah matter of fact you can see it right there that vinyl that's on the gable that's what i'm gonna go with on this shed so but anyway, there it is, all dried in, minus the door, of course. <laughs> all righty, well, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Till the next one. Bye.